गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस डिवाइज फ्यू क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर वन एंड चैप्टर टू सम स्टूडेंट्स सेंड मी क्वेरीज थ्रू व्हाट्सएप नंबर फ्यू क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर वन एंड चैप्टर टू लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट क्वेरी दैट इज एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर लेट एस रीड द क्वेश्चन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाई फाइव राइट वेरियस प्रोडक्ट शोइंग सम pattern to show minus 1 multiply minus 1 gives us 1 in this question what happen and what we have to do starting from minus 1 multiplied with 5 we have to start from this number that one minus 1 is multiplied with the 5 5 is a positive integer and minus 1 is a negative integer and write various product up to minus 1 multiplied with minus 1 so we have to follow some pattern to start from this number that is minus 1 multiplied with positive integer that is plus 5 up to a negative integer that is minus 1 minus 1 is multiplied with 5 then step by step we have to move up to minus 1 and result is we know minus 1 is multiplied with minus 1 Result is plus one because when negative sign is multiplied with negative sign, result is positive. But from starting from this number and end at this number, we have to write some pattern. Patterns means we have to write some rules according to we can directly prove that answer is one. Let us start the answer. The answer is we have to start from minus one multiplied with five. What is the result when negative integer is multiplied with a positive integer? Result is a negative integer. Now, when one is multiplied with five, result is five because one is multiplicative identity. So, result is minus five. So, the uh, result of first term which is given to us, starting term, the result is minus five. All right. Let us understand its second term. Now, according to the pattern. we are going to decrease this number because at the second place start from 5 and end at minus 5 so we have to decrease the number step by step up to minus 1 so the next number is minus 1 multiplied with 4 now up before 5 5 its next decreasing number is 4 all right so minus 1 is multiplied with 4 the result is Minus one obviously as the result here is minus five in this case result is minus four minus plus minus and one is multiplied with four result is minus four. Similarly, the next uh, decreasing number is minus one multiplied with three result is minus three and so on up to up to zero. Let us understand up to zero. Okay, then the decreasing number is two. Then decreasing number is one. Then zero. Now understand the terms. How we can write the pattern? Here minus four. Then result is minus three. Next result is minus two, and so on. How we can write the pattern? These are just the numbers. The decreasing numbers in the decreasing process. We have to write some pattern. The pattern is minus four can be written as minus five plus one. All right. Now minus three can be written as minus four plus one. The result of minus five plus one. If one is added to minus five, result is again minus four. We are not going to change the result. We just write the pattern to understand the term. How we can start the number and end at this number. And by that pattern, we can understand the result is one. Now. From understand from these terms, if you see here in first case the result is minus five. All right. In second case the result of first pattern is used plus one. In the second case result of second number is used plus one. In next case result of previous one is used and plus one. So what happen for the next answer we have to Use the result of previous one and plus one. Result of this number plus one. Result of this number that is minus two plus one. Result is minus one. Now, if its result is minus one, na? 
तो माइनस वन इज एडेड टू प्लस वन एंड रिजल्ट इज जीरो ऑल राइट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट द रिजल्ट ऑफ प्रीवियस वन इज यूज टू अंडरस्टैंड द रिजल्ट ऑफ सेकेंड वन फर्स्ट रिजल्ट इज यूज देन वन इज एडेड एवरी टाइम नाउ इट्स रिजल्ट इज माइनस फोर माइनस फोर प्लस वन नेक्स्ट रिजल्ट इज माइनस थ्री to get next result that is minus 2 what we have to do the result of previous one is used the results of previous term plus 1 the result of previous term plus 1 the result of previous term that is minus 1 plus 1 we get 0 similarly for the next term that is for uh, uh, after 0 its decreasing number is now minus 1 because from positive terms the negative uh, after zero towards left hand side the negative term number start below zero all right so its result is zero to get the next answer we have to use the result plus 1 the result is 0 plus 1 so what we get 0 plus 1 is answer 1 so by using this pattern that is result of previous term plus 1 result of previous term plus 1 similarly the result of previous term plus 1 we get the result 1 which we get directly but we have to write some pattern we have to understand some pattern we have to give some pattern to get the result 1 all right so start from this number you have to write this kind of pattern for result is 1 all right now come to our next question so next question is exercise 1.4 question number 5 the question is the temperature at 12 noon was 10 degree celsius above zero if it decreases at the rate of 2 degree celsius per hour until midnight at what temperature would the temperature be 8 degree celsius below zero what would be temperature at midnight so understand the question one by one in this question it has two parts one part is at what uh, what time would the temperature be 8 degree below zero so we have to find out the time when temperature is 8 degree below zero first of all 8 degree below zero means minus 8 degree celsius as i told you in integers understand the terms below means negative integer is used above means positive integer is used now second part is what would be temperature at midnight so we have to find out two questions in the same conditions one by one let us understand the question first of all the temperature at 12 noon 12 noon means dopahar ka jo 12 baje ka time hai us time temperature kitna hai 10 degree celsius this is the starting temperature from which we have to start our calculations for the temperature above zero above zero means plus 10 degree celsius so understand first line the temperature at 12 noon was 10 degree celsius above zero so first line is initial temperature or temperature at the starting that is at 12 noon is 10 degree celsius or you can write plus 10 degree celsius this is the first line now understand the second line if it decreases again understand the word decreases for decrease you have to use the negative integer for increase you have to use the positive integers if decrease at the rate of 2 degree celsius per hour per hour means हर एक घंटे बाद उसका टेम्परेचर टू डिग्री सेल्सियस कम हो जाता है डिक्रीज हो जाता है डिक्रीज मीन्स वी हैव टू यूज द नेगेटिव इंटीजर दैट इज माइनस टू पर आर सो नेक्स्ट इज नेक्स्ट लाइन इज चेंज इन टेम्परेचर चेंज मीन्स आइदर डिक्रीज और 
increase. So change in temperature per hour that is given decrease by 2 degrees Celsius per hour. This is the change given in the second line. So decrease by 2 degree uh, Celsius per hour. How we can write mathematically? That is minus 2 degree Celsius. So initial temperature is plus 10 degree Celsius. Change in temperature or decrease in temperature per hour is minus 2 degree Celsius. Now, first question related to these conditions is this temperature decrease until midnight. So up to midnight temperature continue decrease per hour at the rate of 2 degree Celsius. Alright. Now at what time we have to find out the time. Would the temperature be 8 degrees Celsius below 0. 8 degrees Celsius below 0 means when the temperature is minus 8 degrees Celsius we have to find out that time. Alright. To get that time what we have to do. Now understand step by step. We have to find out the temperature of after every hour. Start from 12 noon because the rate of change or the decrease is given per hour. Her egg hunte baad hume temperature ka decrease dekhna hai. Alright. So start from 12 noon. The temperature at 1 pm. Starting is 10 degree Celsius. That is the starting temperature plus. Plus means we have to find out the total temperature at 1 pm. So total temperature after 1 hour the temperature decreases. That is by 2 degree. So 10 plus what we have to do minus 2 degree must be added. That is the decrease of the temperature. Alright. So we have to find out the total temperature. We have to add. But that is with the negative integer. Temperature decreases. That's why we are going to use a negative integer. So plus minus multiplied gives us negative sign. 10 degree Celsius minus 2 degree Celsius. The result is 8 degree Celsius. That is plus 8 degree Celsius. So the temperature after 1 hour that is 1 pm start from 12 noon is 8 degree Celsius. Similarly the temperature at 2 pm now. We have to now calculate from the temperature at 1 pm. Because we have to find out the temperature after every hour. Because temperature decrease at the rate of 2 degree Celsius per hour. Alright. So when we are going to find out the temperature at 2 pm. Na? So we have to start from temperature at 1 pm. Because that is calculated. Alright. Now. The final temperature at 1 pm is 8 degree Celsius. Now start from this. After 1 hour temperature again decreases by 2 degree Celsius. So the total temperature is 8 degree Celsius plus minus 2 degree Celsius. Plus minus is multiplied gives us a negative sign. So plus 8 degree Celsius is the temperature at 1 and after decrease of minus 2 degree Celsius, the temperature at 2 pm is 6 degree Celsius. Similarly, again after next hour, temperature at 3 pm. So for 3 pm, we have to start with the temperature at 2 pm, that is 6 degree Celsius. So starting from 6 degree Celsius plus Decrease of 2 degrees Celsius that is minus 2. Total temperature after subtraction is 4 degree Celsius. Similarly temperature at 4 using the same process. 4 degree Celsius we have to start from 4 degree now. Plus minus 2 degree Celsius the temperature is 2 degree Celsius. So the temperature at 4 pm is 2 degree Celsius. Next. The temperature at 5 pm start from 2 degree Celsius plus decrease of 2 degree Celsius plus 2 minus 2 result is 0 degree Celsius. One is a positive integer and second is a negative integer with same number so result is 0 degree Celsius. Next temperature at 
6 pm understand this one temperature at 6 pm now temperature at 5 pm is 0 degree celsius again decrease of minus 2 we have to add 0 plus minus 2 degree celsius plus minus again with the negative sign 0 not a positive neither a negative neutral number okay and 0 is additive identity also it does not affect any integer so result is minus 2 degree celsius so from 6 pm now temperature is in with negative sign understand from this up to this temperature is positive and at 5 temperature is 0 at 6 pm temperature is now minus 2 degree total temperature up to 6 pm start from 12 noon again temperature at 7 now temperature at 6 is minus 2 degree celsius step by step temperature decreases minus 2 degrees celsius plus again decrease of minus 2 total decreases minus 4 because first integer negative second also negative so they are added with the negative sign that is minus 4 degree celsius now temperature at 8 pm minus 4 degree celsius plus minus 2 degree celsius the total temperature is minus 6 degree Celsius because both are negative and they are added. All right. Now temperature at 9 p.m. Minus 6 degree Celsius temperature at 8 p.m. Again decrease of 2 degree Celsius. Now the temperature is both are negative. Temperature is minus 8 degree Celsius. That we required. That is at what time would the temperature be 8 degree below 0? Below 0 means minus 8 degree Celsius. So, we get minus 8 degree Celsius at 9 pm. So, this is the result of our first question. So, write down the answer. So, the temperature will be 8 degree Celsius below 0 or we can write minus 8 degrees celsius at 9 pm so up to this we have to find find the first question understandable next question is what would be the temperature at midnight now we have to find out the temperature up to midnight we can continue by this process or we can find out directly as well so next now we have to find out the temperature at 12 midnight this method you already understand now. By this method you can also find out the temperature at 12 midnight. Or And I told you one more method to find out directly the temperature at the midnight. Now students for the second part we can use this method also as we have find out the temperature at 9 pm. Up to 9 pm we have, we have already find out. Now, for the next temperature, for the next hours, we can find out by this method that is step by step by adding minus 2 degree Celsius. Or we can find out directly the temperature at the midnight. So, now we have to find out the temperature at midnight. Understand the direct method also. You have to use this method also to find out the temperature directly. Now, understand first statement. Total hours between 12 noon and 12 midnight because we have to find out, see the second part, what would be temperature at midnight. Midnight means 12 a.m. that is 12 oh, midnight. Alright, 12 noon means dupehar ke bara baje se lekar hame raat ke bara baje that is 12 a.m. tak ke beech mein hame Total hours dekhe hai. How many hours are there? Total hours between these two timings. That is 12 hours. Alright. Now, next is change in temperature per hour. Har ek hante baad kitna temperature change ho raha tha? Kitna decrease ho raha tha? 2 degrees Celsius or we can write minus 2 for the decrease. That is minus 2 degree Celsius. This is the change in temperature per hour. Now, we know that total hours are 12. 
ओके सो द चेंज इन टेम्परेचर पर आर इज माइनस टू डिग्री सेल्सियस देन चेंज इन टेम्परेचर इन ट्वेल्व आवर्स बारह घंटे में कितना चेंज हो जाएगा टेम्परेचर में वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेल्व विद माइनस टू डिग्री सेल्सियस ऑल राइट सो द टोटल चेंज और द टोटल वी कैन से डिक्रीज ऑफ द टेम्परेचर इज इन ट्वेल्व आवर्स इज माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस इज द डायरेक्ट मेथड टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मच डिक्रीज अप इन ट्वेल्व आवर्स This is the step by step we have to find out the decrease. This is the direct method to find out the decrease. If we know the total hours, only then we can find out the total decrease. Understand again, total hours. If we know the total hours between the two timings, that is twelve noon and twelve midnight, we we know that how many hours are between twelve noon and twelve midnight. Right, twelve hours. All right. So total hours we know change in temperature for one hour that is given that is minus two degrees Celsius. So change in temperature for twelve hours we can find out directly by using the multiplication properties of the integers. Multiply twelve with minus two, we get twelve into two, twenty four with the negative sign. Because minus is multiplied with positive, we get a negative sign. So in twelve hours, total decrease of temperature is minus twenty four. This is the decrease. All right. But initially at twelve noon, what is the temperature given? Let us understand the first line first of all. Initial temperature that is already given now, and that is ten degree Celsius. The starting temperature is plus ten degree. Celsius and this is the decrease of the temperature, not the total temperature at twelve midnight. This is just the decrease in twelve hours. कि बारह घंटे में decrease कितना हुआ? But starting कितना था? Starting zero नहीं था. Starting हमारे पास था ten degree Celsius. All right. So the temperature at midnight means the total temperature. Is time the total temperature कितना हुआ? Initial temperature is Ten degree Celsius, and how much degrees? Minus twenty four degree Celsius. So the for finding the total temperature, to find out the total, we have to add these two temperature. As we have done for the every hour, na similar process we have to do for the twelve hours. All right. So initial temperature plus change in temperature or decrease in temperature. Total temperature is after adding. 10 degree plus minus is minus 10 degree Celsius minus 24 degree Celsius is equal to minus 14 degree Celsius. All right, because we are going to add, but due to this negative sign, they subtracted. That is a positive integer, and this is a negative integer, so we get minus 14 degree Celsius. So this is the temperature at 12 midnight. Because starting temperature is ten degree Celsius, and after twelve hours, how much decrease? That is minus twenty four. Because we have twelve hours between twelve noon to twelve midnight, and after every hour, the decrease is minus two. So total decrease for the twelve hours is twenty four. That is minus twenty four, and the temperature is finding out. By initial plus decrease, that is total is minus fourteen degree Celsius. Or we can write temperature at midnight will be fourteen degree Celsius below zero. Below zero means minus fourteen degree Celsius. So you can write answer like this. That is temperature because the question is what. What would be temperature at midnight? Temperature is fourteen degree Celsius below zero, or we can write minus fourteen degree Celsius. This is the method to find out the temperature directly if we know the total hours and decrease of the temperature per hour. So we can find out the total decrease 
and by finding out the total temperature that is by adding initial and decrease we can find out the temperature at 12 and we can also find out the temperature by this method because the temperature at 9 pm we have find out next continuing by this this method also can be used to find out the temperature at midnight we can find the temperature at 10 pm similarly for the 11 pm and up to 12 am so you i thought you very well understand the question so you must when you start the question read the line step by step and write down the statements in the form of the mathematical terms the temperature at 12 noon so write down the first initial temperature or the starting temperature or the start you can write anything else but you have to write step by step initial temperature then change in temperature either decrease or increase understand these terms when decrease is used you have to use the negative sign increase is used you have to use the positive sign and by this method you can find out the temperature step by step all right so i thought you very well understand both the answers all right now next we are in the next lecture we start with again chapter 2